Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I usually cut through rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan. But not this week. This week I have eight geodes from the Keokuk region down, you know, southwest Wisconsin and bordering kind of a couple other states. So I got eight of them. I got these all from Awakenings on Main. That's a rock shop in Oshkosh. Check it out if you're ever through Oshkosh. Um, you know, generally these are going to have just quartz inside of them. We're hoping for maybe one with some calcite or, you know, you could get some other rare stuff. But most of the time this is just going to be white quartz, white calcite. But I still love cutting them open just to see what's inside all of them. Um, so we're going to do that on the 10 inch high tech and we're going to use the thin centered blade. So let's see what we got. Okay, so through the first one, ooh, I hear a pocket. Oh, sweet, look at that. And actually, I think, let me look at this outside the camera here. Yeah, there might be a little calcite in there, but look at how deep that goes. That very snowy, look at those crystals right there. Like tiny, tiny little fragments. Sweet, so that's kind of what I expect, you know, most of the time it's a lot clearer than that. So this one might have a little bit more calcite in it. We'll hit, we'll hit them all with the UV at the end just to see. But yeah, all right, one for one, let's go. Okay, number two. Ooh, another pocket. Oh, sweet. Got some yellow in there and white. Looks like a face right there. Maybe some, even looks like a little bit of banding almost, but not. So yeah, I don't know if that yellow is maybe just staining or if that again is maybe some yellow calcite, but not bad, not bad. I would say definitely two for two, onward. Okay, that one was a little dirty yet, but, ooh, listen to that. Oh, there we go. That's kind of like those cl very clear crystals that I'm talking about. Sometimes you can get a little bit of rainbow shine in there, but I'll have to get them uh, cleaned up, get some of that black cleaned out for the close-ups at the end, but yeah, you can see how dirty this one was. But very cool, very clear on this side and then almost milky on this side. So really cool. All right, three for three. Okay, so I went the short way that time just to see. I can hear another pocket for sure. Oh, I am glad I went the short way. Oh, we got some crumblers in there. Let's get that out of there. Sweet, so another really cool milky white deep pocket in there like a formation coming out right there sweet another really good one even though they're all you know very similar i just like how different they all are too at the same time all right on to number five so i wasn't sure which way to go on this one because it kind of had a flat bottom so i went the long way but I can still hear a pocket. So let's see if I split it good. Oh, look at that. Got a little bit of black from the saw in there probably. Maybe, yeah. I'll get it washed off for the close-ups, but nice little pocket in the middle. I'm glad I went that way again. I, I might not have got any pocket at all. Kind of looks like eyes. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, I just rinsed that one off a little bit because I saw some black coming. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but I can hear a pocket. Oh, look at that, double pocket. Very, oh, some big crystals down in there. That's my favorite one so far with the double. Really cool. I just, like I said, you know, this is usually what they look like, 
but they're so different each one. So a really good one there. All right, on to number seven. All right, let's see if number seven is lucky. Oh, everyone's had a pocket so far, so we're doing good. Oh, big pocket. Look at those formations in there, and it goes all the way down into the back. Big white peaks in the back there. Really, really cool. So like I said, we'll hit all these with the UV light after um, and see if there's any other materials in there. Usually not, but we'll see. All right, on to the last one, seven for seven so far. Okay, last one. Let's see if we went eight for eight. I did rinse it a little bit because I saw that black again. I think my blade might be rubbing up against my table or something, but all right, it's got a pocket. Nice. Oh, got some loose ones in there. Goes all the way back. It's got those crystals. Kind of looks like a duck right there. And a woodpecker. I'm talking a woodpecker or maybe a dragon. But anyways, eight for eight. So let's grab the UV light and see if any of these things light up. Okay, so I got them laid out here. Let me just turn the light off. Get my UV light. Probably not great on a yellow towel, but so really nothing in that one. Yeah, just normal colors in that one pretty much. Maybe a little bit of white back in there. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Like I said, you usually don't get a lot of calcite and stuff in these. It's usually just quartz. Yeah, that one's just yellow shining through. So nothing with the black light, but that's okay. I still like, oh, where's the light switch here? There we go. I still like uh, how, like I said, how they're all different. How all the crystal shapes are always different. So it was a total success. All right, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.